<laughs> Yo, okay, check it. So, uh, I didn't really prep this. I uh, was going to make a video for a friend, um, and I decided just to uh, go this route. Maybe some other people could uh, find this helpful. Um, anyway, just going to send it. So, uh, I, bar I don't barely know what to do with this mandolin here. I've been picking around on it for a while now. Um, one really neat thing I learned, I've been experimenting with open tunings and uh, just getting out of the standard uh, G, D, A, E um, tuning. And one thing I discovered is I believe this would be called open D. So what I did was I made the regular D chord and uh, looked at the notes that that gave me on my tuner here. And then I tuned this string, which G, I tuned this up to A, up one note. And then this string down here, this bottom string, I tune to F sharp. So instead of G, D, A, E, we're at A, D, uh, A, A, D, A, F sharp. And now that sounds weird and that sounds complicated, but really what we've done is we've put the mandolin into being played open and you get the D chord that you'd be making here, but you get it with nothing. And uh, so now why do we do this? Uh, the reason why I did this is um, I think open the mandolin is at a, a weird C minor, something a strange chord. It doesn't exactly sound good by itself. So what we've done is we put it into a D chord. So now this makes it a way more accessible instrument. You can walk up to this, you can pick it up, and it makes a pretty chord just with nothing. So what's this going to do? This is going to get you to hold it more. This is going to get your hands on the instrument more. Um, and you can just you'll be develop a, uh, you can work on your picking. You can work on your strumming. You can do all this without worrying about this extra variable of making chords. So you can just... So that's cool. So now we want to... Now we're picking it up, we're drinking our morning coffee, sipping our mate, and we've got a chord we can play. It just sounds good. So now you're going to get this hand, kind of have the idea of what to do. It's no longer as intimidating you don't have to do this extra stuff. But should you want to, one thing I learned is now we have a lot of really pretty single finger chords. So open, we have a nice chord. If we change... I found that on these, on the three deeper strings, it's these uh, undotted, it's so two and four are where your nice tones are. So you can just hold one, so I'm going to hold this string on the fourth fret here, one finger. got all kinds of chords I can play with one finger. So now what we can do is now we can focus on, now we can go back, easy strums. So if you're on the three low strings, it's the uh, two and four. And if you're on the bottom string, it's going to be your three and five. If you want to throw a minor in there, you just reverse it. You would then play the two and four on the tiny string. And 
Same way on the larger strings, now you can play three and five and you get some sort of weird minor. I don't know what these chords are called, I don't know what they just sound, I know they sound good and fun to play. So now so we've got some minors. And we can always just go back to this open D. If you get confused, tired, just go back and play it open. That's not something you can do normally in the standard GDA tuning. You can, uh, I found that some of these open ones, if you want to go to find some two finger chords, you can play any of the six here that sound good. You can mix them together. So I'm going to go and then add in this finger. So yeah, so now we're here, what we got is the soup, super easy. Um, what you can do is you can focus on, if you know you're pressing the second string while you're strumming, you can uh, try to focus on. So you can practice on knowing where your individual strings are while you're uh, just kind of strumming around. Um, yeah, it's just, it's accessibility. It gives you something that picks up and sounds nice instead of trying to worry about finding chords. Um, and just me personally, I can play around with these little one finger chords until my fingers hurt. And I don't need much. So yeah, hope that helps someone out there. Um, I think yeah, I think this is open D. Um, we've got A, D, A, F sharp, A, D, A, F sharp, and that makes a D chord open. There you go. That's all I got. Hope that's helped somebody.